You know you shouldn't be here. Uh, don't look so surprised. Did you really think you could slip away so easily? I mean, the pillows under this chic trick is amateur hour, and we both know I'm no amateur. No, I'm not here to drag you back. Contrary to popular belief, my mission is not to ruin your life. It is my mission, however, to protect you. I know you're sick of hearing it. Doesn't mean it isn't true. You think you're on my first selfish client? <laughs> yeah, you are. Do you know how many people will be grateful for my protection? It isn't cheap, Sunshine. <laughs> Look, I know you hate that nickname, Sunshine. But I hate being lied to, so I guess now we're both even. No, no. You don't need to apologize to me. We both know you don't mean it. So, let's get straight to the point. Why did you feel the need to sneak out to this club? It does matter. If I'm gonna keep you safe, I need to understand you. What made you tick? Yeah, I don't have to be your enemy. We're playing for the same team. So you wanna go out? Okay, you could've just told me, I would've escorted you. Now I get it, this whole situation is annoying to say the least. But until we figure out who is trying to kill you and apprehend them, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, luckily for you, my salary is being paid by someone who knows how to keep me happy even when my client is constantly trying to undermine me. I mean, other bodyguards would have left you to the wolves by now. You're not as patient as me. So, again, sunshine, I ask, why this club and why tonight? You understand how easily an assassin could kill you here, right? The dim lighting, the crowds, it's the perfect cover for an attack. Someone could bump into you, make it look like they're just drunk and brush past you. By the time you go down, no one would re even realize someone hurt you. It, I'm not trying to... <sighs> Listen, I told you when I took this job, I will always be honest with you. And this club is a death trap. <laughs> Look, there are two ways this can go, okay? You either fight me every step of the way, we are both miserable, or you work with me. I'm not your warden, Sunshine. Think of me as a tool, alright? You can use me to keep yourself safe. Right now, you need me. One day, you won't, and believe me, that will be a relief for both of us. But for now, can you just try and work with me? <sighs> Good. I knew you were the rational one deep down. So, Sunshine, let's get out of here, okay? If you want to come back, we can. Later. Once I case the place. Once I make it safe. <laughs> Easy. See? Too many people here, okay? Just for once, agree with me, alright? Good. Then take my hand. I don't want to lose you in the crowd. Oh, for fuck's sake, I don't have cooties. Take my hand. Finally. Alright, let's go. Hey, you okay? You just look a little flushed. Were you staying hydrated? <laughs> oh, shut up. Level with me. Are you okay? Right. Sit down. Here. I always have supplies on me. You wouldn't know that if you actually took the time to actually talk to me. Now drink the Gatorade. Yes, because that's your favorite flavor. I know a whole bunch of things about you. Fun facts, I guess you could call them. It's my job. I take it seriously. Alright, deep breaths. In. And out. 
One more time. In. And out. Still dizzy? You sure? Okay, take it easy. Up we go. Better? Good. Did you actually thank me? Uh, no, I'm just shocked. I didn't know you could be this polite. Like, ever. <laughs> wow, a smile. Who's this person and what did you do with my client? And it's gone now. For a second, I thought you were possessed there, sunshine. Now, where's the car? Oh, for heaven's sake. No, I won't lecture you about the stupidity of taking an Uber. I mean, what could possibly go wrong in the stranger's car? <sighs> Alright, follow me then. What kind of question is that? I do this because I was hired to do it. Protecting you is my job until either we both die or the bad guys are apprehended. I always promise to tell you the truth, Sunshine. The truth is, we're not friends. We could be enemies down the line if you keep pissing me off. But right now, I'm yours. We'll keep you safe. You're gonna come through this just fine. So, the question is, Sunshine, will you let me do my job? Good. Smart move. Get behind me, now. Keep moving, friend. I've had a hell of a night and killing you would just be one more stupid thing to do. I get it. The bounty, I'm sure, is quite high. But if you take one more step, You'll be dead before you can even pull the trigger. Now, last chance. One. Two. God fucking damn it. I really warned you too. Hey, 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 you okay? Look at me. Are you okay? Hey. Respond to me. No, no, no. Don't look at them. Look at me. Look at my eyes. Hey. You're okay. You're fine. I'm not gonna let anyone hurt you, okay? No one's getting at you. Not on my watch. <clears throat> Listen, we need to go. People have heard the shot. Last thing we need is to get into pursuit with the local PD. I know. That's why I'm here. So the blood is on my hands, not yours. We have to go. Now, get in the car. Listen, you're freaking out, okay? I need you to pull it together for a bit, okay? Sunshine? Breathe. Come on, breathe. Come on, breathe with me. In. And out. In. And out. I know, I know. But was it them or you? That guy would have killed you without a second thought. You were just a paycheck to him. It's different for me, Sunshine. I have standards. Rules. I don't take on bounties like that. I protect people. I get paid to do it, yeah. But it's different.
That guy was the first of many. Until we figure out who put the hit on you, I need you to start listening to me, okay? Really? No, 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 I'm just... Damn. I didn't think it would be that easy. I guess near brushes with death works wonders. It's okay. It's okay, sunshine. I've got you. You're gonna come through this just fine. I promise. Easy. Sunshine, easy. It's just me. You're having a nightmare. You okay? You're safe. I secure the house myself. No one's getting past me, okay? It's fine. All safe. I promise. Look at me. What is it? A nightmare? You want to tell me about it? I am being serious. Look, I know how things can get fucked up in your sleep. You stay around this kind of stuff long enough, you'll see things you wish you hadn't. I'm not asking you to just accept it. But for right now, you need to let it go. Trust me, you have plenty of time for therapy after you catch the person trying to kill you. Therapy? Duh. A lot of people I know get therapy. I do. Nothing to be ashamed about. I mean it. There's nothing wrong with getting help. Sure, you may have to change a few things so no one calls the cops, but that shit works. But until then, you've just got me sunshine. So, talk to me. Hmm? I do sleep, but not like you. I take naps here and there, usually when you fly the security details with you. But with everything that's going on, I have to adjust my schedule. It doesn't matter. You don't need to worry about me. Focus on you, Sunshine. Talk to me. What's going on in that big brain of yours? <sighs> yeah, I figured. <sighs> Even though it was a matter of survival, watching someone else die isn't easy. It goes against our survival instincts. Look at me. That thug doesn't deserve your sympathy. He made his bed long ago. He would have ended up killing others after you. No, I'm not trying to justify his death. It's just... <laughs> Look, you can't view this in black and white, okay? There are shades of gray sunshine. I know that's hard to comprehend, but that's the way it is. And right now, there are going to be more attacks. More people coming after you. More people that will die. That's just the way it is, okay? <laughs> Look at me. The only thing you need to do is survive, okay? I'll handle everything else. Blood will always be on my hands, not yours. The nightmare that's haunting you, let it go. I killed that man. You didn't get to say so. <laughs> it's the truth. I'm always honest with you, sunshine. <laughs> Look at me. Repeat after me. This isn't my fault. Good. Say it again. Better? None of this is on you. You didn't do anything wrong. You just wanted the poor saps living in the family that certain influential people hate. You have a target on your back the moment you were born. You had to ask your family. No, I don't know. The less I know about family dynamics, the better. All I'll know is that your father has enemies. What politician doesn't? When he's done something shady or not, you have to ask him. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter for me. I'm not protecting your father. I'm protecting you. You're my focus. <laughs> I know everything about you. Well, everything that's relevant. A few other things, like the Gatorade flavor. Your family provided the info. 
Before I take the job, there's a lot of paperwork and research done. Yeah, like I said, I need to know you to protect you. Me? <laughs> there's, there's nothing to know about me. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Sushi? <laughs> I don't get out much. Job makes it difficult. <laughs> I mean, yeah. If you go to a restaurant, I go too. Wait, are you trying to ask me out or something? Oh, sorry, I just... <laughs> Look, just so we're clear, I don't date my clients. Ever. Business and pleasure cannot mix. I know that disappoints a lot of people, but that's the way it is. No, I get it. You're just trying to be nice. If you're actually interested in me in that way, I sent you to get your brain checked. <laughs> Whatever, sunshine. It's late. Can you get back to sleep? I'll be right outside your door. Sunshine? Okay, okay. Easy. I can stay here until you fall asleep. No worries. Close your eyes. I'm here. You're safe. No one's getting at you. Not while I'm around. Sleep well, sunshine. Morning, sunshine. Here, eat something. I'm afraid that's not open to negotiation. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since that Gatorade. I keep track, yes. Told you, sunshine. It's my job. So, what do you feel like? I've got some eggs, bacon. I'm sure we can get some pancakes in if you want. Really? Another thanks? <laughs> Relax, would you? I'm not upset or anything. I don't let my clients get under my skin. Water under the bridge, okay? So, what are you gonna eat? Hm, good choice. Coffee or OJ? Here you go. You look a bit better. The color is back in your face. I think the sleep did well. No, I don't have any leads. Whoever put the head on you must be pretty powerful. There was no news coverage or anything about the shooting at the club. As far as I can tell, it's like it never happened. That tells me a lot in itself, but unfortunately, it leaves me back at square one. <laughs> Listen. Think back. Did anyone ever threaten you? Anything could be helpful, even if it happened a long time ago. Nothing comes to mind? I figured. No, it just means I have to dig a bit deeper. I've got a meeting with your father later. I doubt he'll tell me the whole truth, but maybe with his child's life on the line, he'll be willing to divulge something. What? No, it wasn't nothing. You made a face. Why? Your father and you don't get along? Why is that? It is important. Come on, sunshine. Talk to me. You can trust me, alright? Okay, so that's a workaholic, huh? Puts his career first. Your mother got fed up with it and left? But the divorce was amicable? You sure? I ask because maybe this is a hit where you're not the target, but more of a tool. Your parents, I assume, love you. Losing a child is one of the hardest things that can happen in life. So, maybe, the hit on you isn't a message for you, but for them. <sighs> Shit, 
I'm really gonna have to dig deeper on this. Everyone has secrets, Sunshine. Your parents are no exception. Money, I found, just seems to add to it. Question is, do those secrets warrant a hit on you? Yeah, maybe. But since I don't have any credible leads, I have to consider all possibilities. Hey, you don't need to worry about that. It's gonna be fine. One way or another, I'll figure this out. I can promise you that. So, how are you? Yes, I'm serious. You look better physically, but how are you holding up? <laughs> Liar. I mean, <laughs> nice try, but you're still a little shaky. It's okay, Sunshine. You don't have to be completely okay with this. It's a fucked up situation, Sunshine. I won't deny that, but it's gonna be fine. I can be confident because I'm the best at what I do. I have kept other people safe and you'll be no different. Once I figure out the reason why there's a hit on you, the rest of the pieces will fall into place. Wow, another smile? I'm shocked, Sunshine. If I didn't know better, I would have think you were actually starting to like me. Is hell freezing over? <laughs> Out, Sunshine. Sticks and stones can break my bones, yada yada yada. Listen, until I'm back, I want you to stay put. I mean it, Sunshine. Don't leave the house. Wait for me to come back from my meeting. Don't do anything stupid. Hmm? Do you really mean that? You've promised me before and lied to me at the same time. Good. Cheer up, Sunshine. It sucks now, but it's gonna get better. You'll see. Things always work out in the- <laughs> Get down! <laughs> Stay there! Don't move! Sunshine? Hey, you okay? Were you hit? No? You sure? <laughs> Let me look at you. Easy, easy, Sunshine. It's okay. You're okay. I'm okay. Now, breathe. I'm not sure. But I swear, I'll get to the bottom of it. Come on. We need to get you to a more secure location. It's okay. I've got you. Lean on me. Good lord, you're shaking like a leaf right now. It's okay, sunshine. It's gonna be okay. I promise. And I never break my promises. Sunshine? It, easy. No need to be so jumpy. It's just me. Though I guess after what you've been through, being jumpy makes sense. You doing okay? You need anything? Hey, look at me. It's gonna be okay, sunshine. I know I keep on saying that, but it's true. This safe house is off the grid. The only people that know about it are in this room. No, not even your family does. Not that I don't trust them, but in cases like this, it's better to be safe than sorry. But hey, this isn't a prison, Sunshine. This place is more of a five-star hotel, minus the cell phones. I know, I know, but I couldn't risk anyone tracking you through it. I'm even using a burner. Just think of it as a tech-free vacation. Well, for one thing, you've seen the pool, right? It's heated, and has this cool sound system. You can play music on the water. Not sure how it works, but it's cool. The fridge is stocked with food as well. All your favorites, of course. Plus, if you feel like cooking, I can get you stuff. Maybe you can make some of that pasta you're always bragging about. Plus, there are security cameras and sensors everywhere. If someone even looks at this place weird, I'll know. So you can relax, okay? 
No, your father didn't offer up anything substantial. Well, other than the fact that I don't trust him at all. He's got some weird stuff going on business-wise, but I'm not sure if that's enough for someone to put a hit on you. As for your mom, she seems genuinely concerned. She's either a great actress or actually sincere. And I'm hoping it's the latter. <sighs> Look, sunshine, you don't need to worry, okay? I've got this. It's not my first rodeo. Have a little faith, will you? I know it's hard. I don't know how those people got so close to the house. Uh, frankly, I don't know a lot of stuff. And that pisses me off. But we can only work with the cards we're dealt. So you can spend your time here freaking out, or, and I think it's the better option, you can treat this as a mini vacation. What do you say, Sunshine? <laughs> Smart choice. Pula is. Your room is stocked with clothes. No details have been left out, Sunshine. I told you, I'm good at my job. An unhappy client at a safe house just leads to more trouble. Neither of us want that, right? Good. You get changed then. I need to take this. Warner, tell me you've got something. No, I'm not surprised. I figured we were dealing with professionals. Just, why Sunshine? It's my nickname for them. Drives them crazy. It's pretty funny since they were a pain in my ass when I first started this job. Uh, what? Of course not. Warner, you know me. I'm not the type to get swept away by a client. I'm not an idiot. Sheesh. I get it. Just focus on finding me a lead, okay? Let me worry about the rest. <sighs> Sunshine? Uh, wow. You look ready to swim. Of course I know how to swim. But no, I will not be going in with you. I'm on the clock, okay? Enjoy the water. How is it? Good. No, I'm just glad you're smiling. I forgot you knew how to do that. What are you, a child? You're not gonna goad me into playing this childish game with you. Will you just quit it? You're soaking me. Oh, you like that, wouldn't you? I'm not playing, Sunshine. I'm working. Just entertain yourself. What? Hey, what do you- Whoa! <sighs> I take it back. You are my least favorite client ever. I'm definitely locking you in your room. Oh, now you're saying sorry? I'm soaked. Swimming in clothes is not my cup of tea. Take it off? Jesus, sunshine, get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> Look, maybe you think flirting with me is all fun and games, but let me make things clear. We aren't getting involved. It has nothing to do with you. I mean, yeah, you're definitely attractive. And if we had met outside of this, maybe I would have considered dating you. But we didn't. I'm here to protect you. When feelings get involved, things get complicated. I have to be objective. Really? That's all you think from this? That I think you're cute? <sighs> Alright, I'm getting out of here. Someone has to be the mature adult here. <sighs> Sunshine, let go of my hand. <sighs> Thank you. No, Sunshine. I'm not mad. Annoyed? Yes. But I'm glad someone is having fun. All done? Here. Take a towel. It's a bit chilly. 
What do you say that we both get changed and have some dinner? Good. Come on, Mikey. Focus. They're just teasing you. They've always been flirtatious. There's nothing to get worked up over. Think of how annoying they've been. All the times they've snuck out and you were forced to find them. Don't think about how their body looked in a swimsuit. Be professional. Find anything you like in the kitchen? Wine? <sighs> no thanks. I'm on duty, remember? <sighs> Whatever. This killjoy is trying to keep you alive, remember? Besides, don't you hate wine? Anything's good right now? Well, I can't argue with you there. Just go easy. Did you already chug a glass? Now what are you going to eat? No, you can't just have wine. You need to eat. Prefer be protein. How about some grilled chicken? Easy. You okay? You're a lightweight, aren't you? Sunshine, your face is already red and you only had one glass of wine. Okay, you're cut off. Sit down. You need to eat. What? I order you around because I'm trying to protect you, remember? That's my job. Whether I like you as a person or not is irrelevant. I'm taking my work seriously. Hey, give me that glass. No more wine. N Sunshine, will you quit? <sighs> Damn, you're bleeding. <sighs> Let me see it. Hmm, it's not that deep. Come on. Let me patch you up before you bleed all over the floor. I'm just going to apply some pressure. It looks a lot worse than it is. You need to be more careful. God, sometimes I think you're just a walking danger magnet. Level with me. You're trying to give me gray hairs, right? Don't apologize. It's okay. Okay. Let's clean it. Uh, sorry, I know it stinks. Just gotta make sure it doesn't get infected. And now to bandage. And there. All fixed. <laughs> Easy. Let me help you up. I don't want you face planting. Yes, yeah, sunshine. You are drunk. Definitely drunk. <laughs> I guess so. I didn't have the fact that you were a lightweight written down. I guess you're still a surprise to me. Alright, here. Let's lay you down. I'll make some dinner. Sunshine? What makes you say that? No, you're not gonna die. No. You're not. I'm sure because I'm the best at what I do. I haven't lost a client yet. You won't be my first. So close your eyes. I'll wake you up when it's time to eat. <laughs> you don't mean that. Well, for one thing, you're drunk. For another thing, you're just experiencing the whole falling in love with your protector thing. It's a real psychology thing. Once you're safe, any feelings you think you have for me will vanish. I'm just going to pretend I didn't hear that. Now, go to... <laughs> Sunshine. No, not at all. You're actually quite a good kisser. But that's where it ends. Go to sleep. Damn it, Mikey. You're in over your head. <sighs> Sunshine. 
Sunshine? Oh, sorry, was that too loud? Jesus, you really are a lightweight. Here, drink this. Hangover cure. Works wonders. Tastes like shit, but hey, you already feel like crap, right? So here, drink up. <clears throat> no, we do not need to talk. You're drunk for one thing. For another, I think I made myself quite clear. I'm here to protect you and nothing more. Is that clear? <sighs> Good. Now drink. I don't suppose you feel like eating anything? <sighs> That's what I figured. Either way, I've got a special delivery coming later. Sushi. That's your favorite, right? Of course I know. I know you, Sunshine. How many times do I need to say that? No, I'm not being snippy. I just... <sighs> just drink that. I'm gonna get some fresh air. Tell me you got something. Everything is fine. I just want this job to be over. Ah, damn it, Neil. Do you have something or not? Really? Can you trace it? Thanks. I appreciate it. Call me back if you get anything else. <sighs> but, hey, easy sunshine. Bright lights and hangovers tend to not play well with each other. Me? I'm fine. Completely fine. Just don't, okay? I don't know how much longer we'll be here, and I don't want another mistake like that happening last night. It was a mistake, Sunshine. You know it. And I do, too. Contrary to what every movie or romance novel had told you, bodyguards aren't supposed to fall in love with their charges. Wanna know why? It's because love can make things messy. It slows your reflexes. It's hard to make a calculated decision when it's someone you love. And in those few seconds, it could literally kill you. I'm not willing to take that risk. Are you? <laughs> That's what I thought. So, last night didn't happen. Agree? <laughs> Good. Now that that's out of the way, I have a lead. You ever heard of someone named Dennis Elliott? Think hard. Maybe you met him once, or just said hello. The reason I ask is because a threatening email sent to your father was traced back to an account of his. We can't prove it in the court of law because we may have broken a few laws to track it. But my tech guy, Neil, is positive that Dennis is the bad guy here. Do you remember anything about him? A slimy politician? <sighs> well, that's original. Did he say anything to you? Any remark that stood out? Shook a hand too tightly? Hmm. Uh, I don't know yet. I need to get more intel on him. But for what I read in the email sent to your father, the plan is to watch the world around him burn. And who does your father care most about? Bingo. You. I don't know why. I don't know a lot of things yet. It's frustrating, but it's a start. Hey, chin up, sunshine. A few days from now, we'll know everything we need. You'll be out of this safe house and far away from me. A happy ending for everyone. Really? You want to do the whole tell me a tragic backstory thing now? <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say, sunshine. I chose this job because it paid well and because I'm good at it. That's all. No special reason. No profound secret I'm trying to hide. Sometimes people are just people. What you see is what you get. What about you, though? <sighs> Don't give me that look. Come on, I researched you. Rich kid being shuffled from boarding school to boarding school. Parents divorced and fought for custody. It was drawn out and nasty. God of wonder, sunshine. Who took care of you? I don't pity you. Quite the opposite. If I had even half of your money, I'd retire to some private island and never take another job again. But I get that money doesn't buy you happiness. Especially not blood money. 
And that's the only type of money families like yours make, right? You're cruel? Get over yourself. I'm standing up backed. I know the FBI have been circling your dad just waiting for him to mess up. But he has friends in high places, doesn't he? Makes you wonder what kind of man he really is. <sighs> you're right. You're right. I went too far. Sorry. No, I just... I guess I'm going a bit stir-crazy. Listen, it's not my place to judge your family. I apologize. It wasn't professional of me. We'll call this side just a punishment. And move on. Sounds good. Hey, it's fine. We're good. Hmm? And there's the food. Stay here. Here you go. Lion King roll, extra sauce, salmon nigiri, and a big bowl of miso soup. Your favorites, right? I don't like sushi, actually. Not a big fan of fish, really. Hey, how's your hand? Does it hurt at all? You sure? Okay. Here, eat. You'll feel better if you do. Actually, I've checked for that. No poison. I promise. I told you, this place is secure. As long as you stay within these walls. Good. Go eat. I got a perimeter check to do. What the fuck is wrong with me today? I told myself I would be nicer and I would have been as a big a jerk. Hello? Well, well, Mr. Mikey. You are a very hard person to get a hold of. <laughs> oh, wait. Before you hang up, let's chat, shall we? We have nothing to talk about, Mr. Elliot. Unless you want to confess to attempting to murder my client's child. <laughs> oh, you're good. I mean, they told me you would be, but wow, you really are. No, I'm a businessman through and through. I'm not interested. You sure? Not even if I would give you enough money to save your sister? Wait, how do you- Think about it. I'll give you a call back. W wait Where is Quinn? You heard me, right? Where is she? I can't get a hold of her. Oh, shit. I need you to find her. Well, cause someone told Dennis Elliot to bail her. I don't know how. There's a leak somewhere. Find it, plug it, and get me a location of my damn sister. Ah, oh, shit, shit, shit. <sighs> oh, Jesus, sunshine, make a fucking noise or something. What are you doing just standing there? No, we are not going to talk about it. If anything, we're going to talk about how you should be old enough to know that eavesdropping is wrong. Quinn is no one you need to concern yourself with. You really want to know? Fine. Dennis Elliot called me. He wants me to sell you out for my sister. I told you, Sunshine. I will always be honest with you. And honestly, if I can't track down Quinn tonight, I may go through with it. Does that frighten you, Sunshine? <sighs> you're a liar. I just told you I will sell you out. If Dennis gets his hands on you, you're dead. I have no doubts about it. Frankly, between you and my sister, there's no competition. I'll choose her. Quinn is... <sighs> well... She hasn't always made the right choices. And she's been running from her problems for a long time. But between you and her... Someone told Dennis about her. And now her phone goes straight to voicemail. You see where I'm going with this, Sunshine? Yeah, Dennis is dangling her as bait. Smart move when you think about it. Hey, you get the bodyguard to stop? You make them choose between their family and their charge. No competition there, Sunshine. <sighs> oh, 
why are you so quiet? I just told you that I'm thinking of handing you over to him, and you're just standing there? Are you stupid or something? <laughs> you trust me. What kind of bullshit is that? This isn't a Disney movie, Sunshine. Your pure faith isn't going to reform the villain. It's just going to get you killed. And honestly, maybe it would be better that way. I don't know what kind of shit your family got into, but it's clear that it's bad. Dennis probably won't be the first cycle to come after you. <sighs> shit. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said all that. It was out of line and cruel. <laughs> yeah, it was. I told you I'll always tell you the truth. I just don't think hearing it will do any good. If you want, if you want to go, I can make some calls. Find someone else to protect you. They can take you away from me. <sighs> you don't mean that. No, Sunshine, you don't. Because if you meant it, you have a death wish or something. Or you're dumb as rocks. Both of which I hope are not true. <sighs> Stop saying that you trust me. You don't know me. I'm not the hero to keep you safe. I'm just as messed up as everyone else. You still trust me? <sighs> then you're a fool. Stay here. I mean it. <sighs> what do you have? say this is a surprise how did you get this number smart kid so what can I do for you I do hope you're not going to plead for mercy because frankly that's a waste of time once I decide on a course of action I follow through though to be fair this isn't really about you you're just collateral damage Sorry about that. Maybe in the next life you'll have a better family. <laughs> wow, you're gutsy. You want to deal with me? All right. Let's hear it. True. It has cost me a lot of time and money trying to get to you. More than I expected, to be honest. You expect me to believe that? You'll just hand yourself over to certain death. Well, well, well. That is intriguing. So, you want to trade? Oh, I'm definitely interested. What are your terms? And how do I know you'll come after I release her? You may think me a fool, but I assure you, I'm not. The address of the safe house? Very well. Then it seems we have a deal. You know, you remind me of your father. You have his cutthroat deal-making skills. Such a shame it has to end this way. <laughs> of course. Well, I look forward to meeting you very soon, Sunshine. Welcome to my humble little abode. I'd offer you some refreshments, but I'm sure you'll understand if I skip the formalities. The girl has been released as promised. Right now, I'm sure she's fleeing to her sibling's side, all ready to be comforted after her long ordeal. Like I said, I'm a businessman through and through. The exchange saves me money in the long run. Gotta ask, though, why were you so willing to throw your life away for someone you don't even know? 
Wait, let me guess. <laughs> this is too precious. You're in love with your bodyguard, aren't you? <laughs> oh, this is too cliched. <laughs> So not only do I get to exact revenge, but I get to crush a pair of star-crossed lovers? <laughs> Rude, motherfucker, aren't you? Maybe I didn't make myself clear. Your role in this little play is about to come to an end. I'm going to kill you. Slowly. Painfully. And send your head in a box to your father. He'll suffer more pain than you thought imaginable. <laughs> I am a maniac. <laughs> you know nothing about the world your family resides in, do you? Poor shelter child. Where do you think your family got all their money? Can you even tell me what your parents do for a living? That's what I thought. Well, let me enlighten you. Your family was a crime family. All that money of yours was earned through the blood of others. Your father has killed people. Your mother turned a blind eye. And they hurt people. Other families. Families like mine. <laughs> Anyways, I'll stop monologuing. I'm sure you don't want to hear about why I'm doing what I'm doing. After all, it changes nothing for you. You'll be dead at the end of it all. Boys, break some ribs. Pace yourself. This is going to be a long night. All right, Sunshine, I got a plan. Well, it's more like 15% of a plan, but hey, I worked on less. So, you're gonna stay here, and I'm gonna get... <gasps> Quinn? Uh, Jesus Christ, do you have any idea? Uh, slow down, where are you? I'll come get you. Uh, what do you mean he let you go? That doesn't make any sense. Shit. Wait, Quinn. Are you safe? There's no one following you? Are you sure? A, a trade? What do you mean? Oh, fuck. I'm texting you an address. Meet me here. It's a long story. I have to go. Sunshine? Sunshine, you better be in there. Sunshine? Damn it, answer me! Not here. And Quinn is free? <sighs> Congrats. I trust your sister is on her way back to you. What did you do? Me? Oh, nothing. Your charge suggested a trade, and, well, I am a businessman. Who was I to refuse? What did you just say? Your sister for them. Honestly, I thought the whole thing was a trap. But no. They walked in the door not even 20 minutes later. <sighs> you bastard! You let them go! I'm afraid you're in no place to negotiate, friend. Besides, it will be over soon. I already broke a few ribs. No! Stop! It's over, friend. I got what I wanted. You got what you wanted, everybody gets their happy ending. And let's be honest, I would have gotten your charge eventually. I always get what I want in the end. They're innocent in all this. Ever heard about the sins of the father? Anyways, this isn't up for debate. The game is over, bodyguard. Your charge is as good as dead. Oh, what the fuck, Sunshine? Oh, why would you be so stupid to do this? Okay. Okay, Mikey. 
Focus. It's just another assignment. Work it like that. Back to basics. A rescue mission. Into a highly secure compound. Sunshine is hurt. Or dead. Ah, shit! No, Sunshine is alive. Has to be alive. So, I just need to get in and out. By myself. And with an injured Sunshine. <sighs> I need help. Blue? It's Mikey. I'm calling you in that favor you owe me. You're insane. <sighs> Blue. You're telling me you dragged me all the way out to the middle of nowhere for a suicide mission? No. No, not happening. It's not a suicide mission. Blue, come on. You and I are some of the best. We can handle whatever is waiting for us. And if what's waiting for us is a small militia? Dennis Elliott thinks he's one. He's cocky. He'll make a mistake. That's our opening. Look, Mikey, I know I owe you one for all that shit that went down in Florida. But this is a bit extreme. You've lost a client. Okay, it happens to all of us. I mean, I've lost three over my ten years in this job. Sunshine isn't dead. And that's another thing. Why are you calling your client by a nickname? I thought you hated this jerk. Isn't this good rinse? I was wrong. Sunshine... <sighs> Sunshine is a good person. Annoying, yes. Infuriating at times. But they walked out of here to save my sister. They don't even know Quinn. I mean, why would the client do that? <sighs> I just can't let them die like this. Mikey, you're... You're in love with this client. No, I'm not. I've never seen you go soft over anyone before. I can't believe this. You broke the one rule in the book. Blue? Don't ever fall in love with the client. Why? Because it leads to fucked up decisions like this one. No way. I'm out. Please. Please. I will never ask you for anything else. Please. I can't do this alone. Sunshine is hurt and scared. And I can't just sit here and let them die. Fine. You got a plan? Of course. Well, hurry up and tell me before I change my mind. Well, well, well. Look at you. Gotta say, with all the blood and the swelling, it's a bit hard to make out your face. But I'm sure your father will be able to see it all the same. Of course, I can't decide whether I want to send him the pictures while you're still alive, or wait until you're dead so I can string him along with a false sense of hope. <laughs> what? No witty retort? No threat about how I'll regret this? Looks like I finally knocked some sense into you. What did you just say, you bastard? Well, if you insist on being such a rude guest, I guess it falls to me to educate you. <laughs> oh, that looks like it hurt. I gotta say, I usually prefer to let my boys do all the dirty work. But sometimes, it's nice to do it myself. No. No one is coming for you. Not your bodyguard or your family. No one. You're gonna die here, alone and in pain. That's your fate, sunshine. <laughs> Surprised? Of course I had my people do a little reconnaissance on you. Remember that night at the club? I've been watching you since then. I've always been there. Honestly, your bodyguard should have put the pieces together a long time ago. I gotta say, I don't understand why your bodyguard insists on calling you Sunshine. You don't seem to have the sunniest disposition. Any ideas? Well, too bad. Anyways, hang in there. 
We've still got a lot more time before... <sighs> what? I told you I wasn't to be disturbed. Tell him to call back. Fine, fine. Idiot thinks the world revolves around him. Sorry, sunshine. I'm afraid our time together is going to be cut short. I'll see you in a few. Sunshine? Ah, oh, shit, Sunshine. What did they do to you? It's me. It's me. You didn't think I'd just leave you to rot, did you? Come on, give me a bit more credit than that. No, he won't be back for a bit. Blue's keeping him busy. Don't worry about it. I need you to focus right now. How many guards are here? It's okay, it's okay. Just take a guess. A ballpark figure. Okay, I can handle five. I saw a lot more patrolling outside. Alright. Blue, I got sunshine. I need something to draw the outside guard's attention away from the door. Are you fucking insane? Fine, fine, just cover me. Come on, sunshine. Time to go. I know, I know, it hurts. Just lean on me. We gotta go. I need you to hang on until we get out of here, because I can't drag you on my own. No, I wasn't going to leave you here. Come on, sunshine. Have a little faith in me. I still have to yell at you for how stupid you are for doing this. I know what I said. Jesus, sunshine. I would have figured something out that would have helped both you and Quinn. Okay, okay. Just keep moving. We're almost there. Blue, I need an exit. Come on, sunshine. Let's get out of here. How are they? Do you have any bandages? Under the seat. <laughs> Easy, sunshine. Just focus on me. It's gonna be okay. We'll get you patched up, and you'll be good as new. How bad? <sighs> Hospital bad. But we can't take them to one. That's the first place Stannis will check. So the plan is? <laughs> I'm thinking. Think faster. Pretty soon they're gonna figure out what just happened. <sighs> okay, back up place. Where we stayed after your botched job. I mess up one time, and you still bring it up. <laughs> faster, Blue. I know, Sunshine. I know. Shh, shh. It's gonna be okay. We'll get you fixed up. Pretty soon... We'll be laughing about this whole thing, I promise. You're not gonna die. Don't say that. I mean it. No cheesy final farewells. If you have something to tell me, tell me when you feel better. Hey, Sunshine? Hey, come on, eyes on me. Please don't do this. Sunshine. Sunshine. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Bullshit. Look, Jack is one of the best. Your client's in good hands. I know. But you do know that this will leave a lot of loose ends. No shit, Blue. Don't get snippy with me. I'm not the one that went all rogue. If you think Dennis Elliott is going to just accept this, you've got another thing coming. He's taken your sister before. He knows where your other warehouse is. What exactly is the plan? If Sunshine lives, I'll figure it out. If not, I'll pull a bullet in Dennis's head myself. Uh, Jack? Uh, how are they? That's a relief. C can I see them? Uh, Blue? I'll get Quinn over here. You guys can stay here until you figure out your next steps. <sighs> Thank you, Blue. I owe you one. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a good thing for you that I'm a sucker for a happy ending. S 
sunshine? Uh, hey, whoa, uh, don't move. Uh, your whole side is stitched up. Yeah, well, that's the pain meds. Jack only has the best. He'll probably be feeling pretty amazing for a few hours. Uh, and now you're hugging me. Jeez, sunshine, take it easy. There you go. That's better. No, I'm fine. Quinn is too. Not even a scratch. But you? Well, Jack said you had 16 stitches and three cracked ribs. Not to mention the ugly black eye and the countless cuts and bruises. It's a minor miracle that you're even talking right now. <sighs> Sunshine, you... You scared the shit out of me. I thought you were gone for a second there. You're wrong. I do care about you. I care about you a lot. I just... I have a hard time saying the words, okay? But I don't do this for other clients. I never thought of you as just a client since the whole thing with Dennis began. You're important, Sunshine. To me. I don't really know why. You're always ignoring what I tell you to do and putting yourself in stupid, dangerous situations. But I... I really like you. God, I'm really screwing this up. Do you even understand what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, sunshine. I like like you. Like this. Now, I know what I said. Things have changed since then. I almost lost you and that... That broke something in me. I never been that scared before. Not even when I knew Quinn was in trouble. At first I thought it was just because I never lost a client. But then it was because we were friends. And and now Now it's because I love you. That's why I want to protect you. Your mind, sunshine. Mine to treasure. Mine to take care of. Mine to take care for. Dennis Elliot is still out there. He will try again. I'm sure he'll take some time to regroup, but that's okay. I've got connections. Other places we can go. He won't get a second shot at you, okay? Because I'm going to put him down first. But, for right now, we're going to get you better and find somewhere safe. Take some time to regroup. I actually believe the term is a strategic retreat. But yeah, that's what we're doing. We'll regroup. We'll make a plan, and then we'll strike first. No more running. If we want this to stop, we need to catch him by surprise. <laughs> I'm glad you think my eyes are sparkly. Uh, why am I bothering to tell you this? You're just going to forget once the meds wear off. <laughs> Easy. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. You're stuck with me, sunshine. Really? Uh, I call you Sunshine because... Uh, look, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> alright, alright, fine. <laughs> when we first met. I don't think you even remember. Your dad's head of security was giving me a tour of the property. We were just getting to the backyard when I saw you. You were laughing, playing with a friend's dog, I guess. And you were beaming, like the sunshine. You are bright and dazzling. So, yeah, that's why I call you that. You are my sunshine. You know, like the song. <sighs> no, I will not sing it to you. Well, it's a good thing you pulled through then. Just don't scare me like that again, okay? I can't... I can't see you like that again. We're a team, okay? No more secrets. You really need me to say it again? <sighs> I love you. <laughs> but, but, easy, easy. No, that's not it. But Sunshine, you're hurt. You're gonna rip your stitches. Well, I care. I care a lot. <laughs> Look, scoot over. Just do it.
Here, I'm right next to you. I'm not going anywhere. No, it's not. When you wake up, I'll be here. I promise. You're not going to get rid of me that easily. <sighs> I do. I love you, sunshine. You want me to pinch you or something? <sighs> You're such a sap. Now, close your eyes. You need to sleep. We could talk more in the morning. Shh, shh. Rest now.